Hi everyone. Yes, this is a DNA BTS cup. And this is an interesting vlog. You are watching a journey, a Jeng's journey, number two. And I'm gonna show you in this episode something that has been bringing me so much joy. It's not just one thing, but a lot of little things. And if you know me well, well, for those who know me well, they know that I've been a fan of Michael Jackson since I was five years old. And just the other day, my husband was able to, uh, to actually source a special collectible from 1984. And it's a Michael Jackson doll! Before I share with you my little Michael Jackson collection, just a few things because I don't think we'll have time for all of it. I just want to share with you that, yes, while my friends, when I was a kid, were busy playing with Barbie dolls, I was so happy just to be playing with my Michael Jackson doll. And I have one, and this is actually my second Michael Jackson doll. My husband sourced this from a collector. It no longer has shoes, but the original doll actually has sparkly socks that was inspired by the Beat It and the Billie Jean era in the 1980s, but he still has his sequin glove, and I guess that's important. I'm really happy because this is really, really rare, and I know that my fellow Michael Jackson fans are also excited for me that I have one of these. I want to share with you also that apart from Michael Jackson and going through my collection of Michael Jackson uh, albums and books, I have been drawn into the rabbit hole that is BTS and I don't see any end to my admiration for this group. I want to share with you that in 2019, my family and I went to Korea and it was such a joy because even then, I already loved BT21. My daughter, who is in grade school, was actually the first BTS fan in our family. She encouraged us to all go to the Lion Friend store and we actually bought so many little cute items, BT21 items. but. It was only in 2020, and I will admit this with all honesty, that I finally, finally got to know BTS. And through the encouragement of my, my friends, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to watch their videos, and I got sucked into the rabbit hole. And I am I'm such a happy, happy fan for I was able to really gain a lot of inspiration. They, their songs... Their beautifully written lyrics have been a source of encouragement for my weary and anxious heart this past months. And I want to share with you some of the items that I've been able to collect over the past year. And I want to tell you that I love all of the members. All of the members. And I have a special fondness though for Jungkook. My daughter and I share a fondness for Jungkook. But all of the members mean something to me. And I want to show you something that... I have look at this this is the BTS hand cream collection look at that aren't they adorable so I want to say something about each member that I appreciate because I love them all I love the way their lyrics are crafted I love the way they perform I love that my children can actually have good role models in this group I love that their work ethic is something that the kids can emulate. I love their passion. I love their authenticity when I watch their reality shows. I love watching Bon Voyage where they travel and they experience all so many wonderful things. I loved In The Soup. I loved watching uh, Run BTS. 30 minutes of watching Run BTS always gives me that dose of endorphins. And they really, really make me laugh. And I really appreciate the boys for working so hard to make ARMY happy. So there, I want to tell you that RM, I love the way he is such a great leader to his members. 
I love that he is such a gifted reader and writer. Because you know what? I mean, not everybody, can, you know, not everybody can find it easy to to read and really enjoy reading. I mean, reading is a skill, and he's a wonderful writer because he's such an avid reader. And I admire the way he crafts his words and lyrics, and all his amazing ideas. They just blow me away, and I love how he puts so much heart into his every performance. So bravo, RM. And of course, Sok Jin. Jin is really a gifted vocalist. He sings so cleanly. I love the way he is able to maintain such a wonderful vocal quality. He has a beautiful head voice. He does, a, 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 how do I say it? A, he does his performances or with all emotion. And that's what gets me because as a singer and a writer and a songwriter, I always look for the emotion behind the songs and Jin is able to deliver that all the time. This one, of course, Shuga. He is obviously a musical genius, but the way he also crafts his lyrics totally blows the mind, in my opinion. And I love that he is able to incorporate a lot of his ideas from what he shared in his interviews are his experiences that are so so raw and so so amazing that he was able to to use everyday experiences and make them re re relevant to the listener he's amazing he's amazing and i love his authenticity i love all of them being authentic in every in every episode of their reality shows and interviews. And of course, let's not forget here. J-Hope, obviously the sunshine of the group. But more than just being a smiley and bright presence in the group, he is such a gifted performer. You can't take your eyes off him when you watch him in concerts. And I think that he is able to create that kind of disciplined atmosphere because the choreography that the BTS members go through is never easy but he is able to be there like their dance captain and he keeps everyone in line and he does it so beautifully and he has a great voice too so amazing and Jimin Jimin I think is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to just having him stand on stage with a certain stance everything he does is graceful and his personality every time i watch him shines through as a compassionate and a caring person that you can't help but love him so i'm beginning to understand why so many friends of mine also scream when jimin is on stage let's not forget taeyong taeyong is not only a sight to behold his visuals are out of this world the way he smiles the way he flirts with the camera he knows what he's doing and he's working it and we're all victims just staring at him we're just captivated by him but more than that he's an excellent dancer and he is a he has a voice that's so distinct that you can recognize it anywhere and that's the the quality i think of a, a recording artist an, a memorable and unforgettable recording artist is that when you can hear you don't have to see him but you can recognize him even when he sings just the first three notes you know it's him so he's really one of a kind also and last but not the least jungkook who has a special spot in my heart and in my daughter's heart because while we love all the members we find Jungkook to be a, the consummate performer, the way he works hard. You can see his passion seeping through every performance, every way he he sings his songs, the color he places on every note, and the, the way he does soft and loud and mixed voice and head tone. Everything is just beautiful and even the way he dances has a certain quality that sets him apart. There's a certain kind of movement that he does that really makes you want to stare at him all day long. 
and as a group they have been an inspiration to me and to my husband and to my children their music has been a soothing balm to our weary souls this pandemic so thank you thank you bts so this is the hand cream that i have and i want to show you just a few things i know that a lot of the the fans my fellow army they love collecting the albums and i am the same way but i since i am an avid reader i have to say that i've been collecting the books that the boys recommend and this is into the magic shop by james doty and what i love about this book is that it's a part memoir but it's also like a told journey about the mysteries of the human mind and it says here it's a neurosurgeon's quest to discover the mysteries of the brain and the secrets of the heart and i love that it's so engaging it's so engaging for a book that actually was the basis of one of the popular songs of bts called magic shop so i suggest that if if you really like knowing the stories behind the songs and the lyrics you have to read into the magic shop if you love the song magic shop by bts because this became one of my favorite books and I actually still read it over and over <laughs> when I feel like I need a pick-me-upper. It's, it's so lyrically written and for a neurosurgeon to share his story about how he was able to discover a lot of things about himself just because someone showed him certain acts of kindness. This is going to blow your mind and this is going to be a touching a touching book that you will never forget watch out for this one if you haven't gotten a copy i suggest you do and then i want to share with you that i also have a copy of i decided to live as me recommended by jungkook and this is written by Yun kim and i actually liked it because it's very straightforward it's really a quick read and while it's uh, around 290 pages thereabouts it's a really quick read and i like that there are illustrations also by the author it's a very calming read and you can learn a lot because it has heartfelt advice about you can just find comfort and in being self-aware and I also got the Hangul version because I will be honest, because of BTS, I actually took Hangul classes. I can actually read and write a little bit of Hangul, but I'm not very good yet. I'm just a beginner, but I think in anything, we all have to start with being a beginner, obviously. And if you have a beginner's mindset and you want to learn something and you have that driving passion to learn, there's nothing that you can't get better at so this is the hangul version i'm excited to be able to reach a point where i can read hangul quickly like my korean friends so that's i decided to live as me and then i also have the notes which are the stories i think that are based on the music videos so the notes one and two the most beautiful moment in life i have these and i think that the army fans who are watching this video will understand that anything that has to do with the boys and their music videos and it really brings a lot of, of excitement and i just love i just love collecting bts merch and Pagafernalia just brings so much joy. And okay. Speaking of books, there's another book that I have given to me by my husband. This is Blood, Sweat, and Tears by Tamar Herman. And they actually went through the discography of BTS prior to the B album. They shared about the solo efforts, they shared about the Japanese albums, they shared about yeah all these things and they they included lovely pictures too so this is a good book to have if you're an army these are just my personal opinions but then again this is my channel so i think you'll enjoy my little two cents worth i also want to share that i was able to score this 
amazing album epilogue and this is one of my favorites because in the first disc it has run danger and then the other songs like butterfly love is not over house of cards i mean i like so many songs from this album and look how beautifully packaged it is beautifully packaged it has William, William, yeah and then i need you and then young forever it has the shooting film concert practice and concert making films i'll show you this is the way it looks like Isn't that just amazing? Epilogue. Of course, my fellow army. Guys, I know that you guys have these too. Ah, this is Love Yourself. Love Yourself. And Love Yourself Answer. And Love Yourself. Here. And then I also have... Young Forever, which is a beautiful, I love the, the photo book style with all the pictures. I love the way they package their, their albums. They really are collector's items and they look so good on my bookshelf. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I love that they think of everything to make the, the fans really happy so there i like that young forever and i also have the two versions of you never walk alone there and then i also have btsb the essential edition i also have the regular b album is in the room i want to show you yeah, this has this amazing poster of course this is the album i love the white album it's so clean of course this is the poster which i i didn't put up anywhere it's so so nice i'll show you I'm not putting this up it's really just a collectible that i want to keep so here this is the bts b essential edition and of course i have this one look at all these cards i know i feel like i'm like a, a teenager collecting all these cute cards but back in the day when i was five years old i actually collected bubble gum cards uh, as a Michael Jackson fan, so this isn't really anything new to me. This being a fan girl, and I'll show you a little bit of my Michael Jackson stuff also later. I hope you're enjoying this vlog of mine because I'm having fun just going through it. Like I said, this has been giving me a lot of happy, happy vibes. The pandemic obviously has been giving us a lot of opportunity to dwell on worries and feel feelings of anxiety but you know what i've tried to do my best to channel my creativity and because of that as a singer songwriter i was able to come up with my first solo digital single called osigilang osigilang is actually released under spotify youtube music and itunes and i'm so so very happy because since it's the month of may I'm coming out with my second solo digital single. This time, uh, it's an all English one called If Only. And I'm excited to share that with you because I'm, I'm actually shooting a music video for it. And truth be told, it's not easy to be shooting from home and being directed from uh, from zoom by my directors but i want to share with you that it's a blessing a god-given blessing that i'm working with two of the best p 
people in direction and cinematography and I will share all those details with you once we're done with the music video so I hope that you're liking and subscribing Ajeng Buenaventura the YouTube channel because I'll be posting my music video here but while we're waiting for that I hope you'll catch my lyric video of O Sigilang it's actually on YouTube my YouTube channel please please like and subscribe so that you'll be first in line to catch all the content I'll be posting so here one of my special collections is actually the Jungkook BTS the Decon I also have the Decon with all the boys just give me a minute Yay! Of course, I have the the deep one that has all the boys, as I am an OT7. And wow, I love everything that's in this package. It's like a little unboxing. Look at this. The calendar. And this is the piece de resistance. There you go. I love how it's packaged and printed so beautifully. Beautiful pictures. Gorgeous pictures. If you're a collector like me and you're an army as well, I know that you will fully relate to the joy I felt upon receiving my decon. I have, there you go. I also have my JK puzzle because my daughter is also a huge fan of JK. And of course, winter package. I'll go through it really quick because I'm sure the army who are watching my fellow army of BTS already know what's going on inside this winter package. Look at these cute things, so adorable. Yeah, there are more cute little snowmen. Cute! And then we have more cards. Cutie Pie Taeyong and RM. And then JK! And then gorgeous, gorgeous printed pictures of the boys. And of course, the winter package CD. I love that it comes in with my favorite colors, which is purple. It's always been my favorite color, apart from red and blue. But this is really my favorite of all. And then the winter package pictures too. And they also have this nice print of JK and Jimin and J and J-Hope. And this is the one that I love. Again, beautiful pictures of the boys. Beautiful. Oops. And more pictures. There we go. Yay! Being an army has also given me an opportunity to catch up and get to know fellow fans of BTS in our, our fan community and I'm so grateful because being able to catch up with fellow fans we are able to talk about the things that BTS stands for how passionate they are we can talk about how much we admire them and what they're doing for not just their fans but also for their own country, how we can emulate their nationalism. There's a lot that they do that I greatly appreciate. And I love the fact that I can tell my children that these are artists worth listening to, that I'm not ashamed when we listen to the songs that they play because I'm not worried about the content that they put out because it's so wholesome. And I appreciate that, that my children say that, hey, I want to, I want to work hard too. Look at that. This is 
the BTS Summer Package 2019 in Korea. And I love collecting things like these also because it made me want to visit Korea where they actually were. So this is the CD, uh, the DVD rather. And this is like a set of pictures. This is uh, the fan included. Beautiful pictures again of all the boys here. And I love how the company of BTS, yeah, the, the, their managers, their team at Big Hit, now called Hybe, they came up with the best merchandise and the best collectibles. Look at these pictures. I love that they really think of the packaging and how the fans are going to cherish these keepsakes for the long haul and the way they thoughtfully include things that represent the experiences that the boys went through like the, they included a fan look at this it's so pretty let's show you of course it's sealed because i didn't want to really open open it but i'll show you what's inside it's a it's a summer fan it's so nice I'm putting it back carefully. I hope you're having fun because I'm having fun as well. Just sharing all these things with you. We're going to go through some of my magazines before I show you really quick some of my Michael Jackson stuff. Here are some of my magazines. I have and to all my fellow BTS fans I'm sure you're having a blast because you're going to be looking at all these things that I'm showing you and you're probably going to think hey I have that too so here time the collector's edition I have Esquire I have GQ the Japan edition Look at them, they all look so good on this cover. WSJ, yeah, Wall Street Journal, the magazine. Yep. This is amazing. The Innovators issue, look at all of them here. Wow, they all look so wonderful there. Apart from being amazing, not just in visuals, I think that the way they craft their music and lyrics really, really affect me as a singer and a songwriter. And that's what gets me the most. They perform They perform their music well, but they also make sure that they incorporate messages that cause you to feel and they inspire you to, to think. This is the Rolling Stone Collector's Edition, which I also appreciate. I love this cover. This is the Entertainment Weekly. Yeah, it's still, I still use a little bit of plastic that came with it to preserve it. And then this is the Time Magazine issue because, well, I won't open it now, but the, the BTS time cover is actually here when you open this and then i have reader's digest a force for good here and then i have 10 star which actually has a cd it says 2,000 Days Journey, which I haven't opened. <laughs> and then I also have K-Pop's International Superstars. It's also a photo book. And I have a puzzle. Yeah, this is from my Memories of 2019, which is, is inside my room. And then here, I have Billboard. The Billboard magazine with them on the cover. And then, like I said, he has a sim uh, soft spot in our hearts, younger. And I have Variety, 
good job calling the cover but this is the, the one that i was after there you go and yes here we go hollywood reporter i actually store my magazines in this locally produced bag that i purchased online it has i'll show you how it looks like if you put something in it you're gonna see it says Kim Nam Joon, Kim Sok Jin, Min Young Gi, Jung Ho Song, Tak Jae Bin, Kim Tae Young, Jang Jung Ko, BTS! <laughs> I know, I know. And I also have, yeah, before I forget, Hello Korea. There. I wanted to share with you that, yes, because of BTS, I actually went through two beginner courses with a Korean teacher. A friend who actually speaks and teaches Korean and I was able to learn how to do basic writing and reading of Hangul. I'm not exactly a veteran or a quick reader of Hangul yet but I'm able to somehow understand when I when I buy my favorite uh, ice cream sandwiches or maybe a bit of Ramona or some Korean products. I'm able to actually distinguish the letters and everything. It's a whole new alphabet, so it wasn't really that that difficult to, to learn. I thought it would be, but it's not. But it, like with anything that you want to master, it takes a lot of practice. So I'm just happy that somehow I got inspired to learn a new language because of BTS. And my daughter is actually excited to learn because I purchased some books also. There you go. And learning Korean is exciting because it will also help me understand the subtitles. I mean, understand what uh, Korean novellas or K-dramas without watching the subtitles. And before I, I move on to my Michael Jackson collection, I wanted to say also that Jungkook happened to have recommended The Little Prince and even before I actually became a fan of BTS, I was always a fan of this book, The Little Prince by Antoine de Sonic Superhero. And then here, I was able to find a cute, cute set that came in English and Hangul. So this is the English version of the little prince which I I've always enjoyed and then this is the hangul which I pray I'll be able to to fully enjoy once I'm able to read faster isn't it beautiful look at that so there that's just a glimpse of a few of my items and oh, okay I didn't bring out all the summer packages that I have because they're quite heavy and my husband's using the room to chat with friends and zoom so here I also have the wings album which is a lovely 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 album one of my favorites in this album is awake and I also like begin well I love all of it but I I particularly got affected by stigma and awake and begin we'll do a quick quick run through of a few of my michael jackson collectibles apart from my michael jackson doll i'll share it with you oops sorry i'll show you i have my michael jackson thriller this is the the album that has of course thriller this happens to be one of the biggest selling albums of all time according to guinness book of world records and i think that michael jackson greatly influenced a legion a legion of artists from all over the world and he certainly influenced me and i was five years old and i kept listening to his music and i watched the 25th anniversary of motown where he did the moonwalk on the stage singing billy jean after singing a medley with his brothers in the Jackson 5 and I was just 
floored. I was moved and I was changed forever. So there, this is a wonderful album to have. And one of the sexiest songs of all time, I feel, is included in this album and written by Rod Temperton. That song that I'm referring to is called Lady in My Life. It goes something like, There'll be no darkness tonight, Lady, your love will shine. You're going to love that. I hope you try to look for that online. And then I have, of course, the 45 the 45 version, yeah. Uh, side one is Billie Jean, and side two is The Falling in Love. And then among my albums, I have the classic Jackson 5 Christmas album. It's never the holiday season without playing this. It remains to be my favorite Christmas album of all time. And then I have USA for Africa. This is the extended play. This is written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. And this was the album that was... Uh, or the song that was created to raise funds for children in Africa. They were addressing the, the millions of suffering people in Africa. And it's amazing. They were able to raise emergency funds for yeah, food and medicine and to help the African people become self-sufficient. It's beautiful. And then I have another collectible, Liberian Girl. From It's a single from the Bad Album of Michael Jackson. I'll go through my little collection very quick, but I'll show you that it's in a suitcase that has Michael on it. We're not going to do this really, really quick. Take a sip from my DNA. DNA cup. Here we go. I hope you're having fun, guys, because uh, tonight I'm gonna. I actually went through some stuff, collector stuff. I I have from my favorite artists, BTS and Michael Jackson. So I'm curious. Please write in the comment section how you've been coping during this pandemic, and if you are a collector like me. I want to know, I'm very interested to find out what type of collections you have and how you are able to keep them neat and protected and safe. I'll start with my Michael Jackson off-the-wall CD. I'll show you the sealed items because I, as a collector I have sealed items which I know will be worth something someday but I don't intend to sell any of these but I just want to tell you that as a collector I see value in mint condition items like these. So off the wall, I have the classic Michael Jackson. It has One Day in Your Life, Rock and Robin, Happy, and it's got so many nice things. Hi! Yeah, my husband just scared me, opening the door too, too loudly. This is the 25th anniversary of the album I showed you earlier, Thriller. And then this is the sealed copy of Invincible, which has a lot of nice songs as well. Wow. It includes one of my favorite tracks called You Are My Life. If you like something sentimental that you want to dedicate to the person that you truly, really love, check that out. You Are My Life from Invincible. And then you have Legends. Hi, Daddy. Legends. And then I have the sealed Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, the Motown years. I have the sealed Jackson 5 gold. I have the sealed Michael Jackson immortal. These are the actual recordings, greatest hits recordings, repurposed and reimagined for Cirque du Soleil. So there. I have the master's collection of the classic Jackson 5. I also have the 25th anniversary uh, edition of the world's biggest selling album of all time, obviously, Thriller, which I showed you the, yeah, I showed you the LP earlier. And then I have uh, The Essential Michael Jackson. Yeah. It has I Want You Back, ABC, The Love You Save, all these things. And I also have uh, Disc 2, it has the, the Bad Album. And then, actually, this is a really, really good album. If you're not, if you're starting to learn about Michael Jackson, 
and the songs Please Get the Essential Michael Jackson. And this one is the Motown Early Classics. And then I will show you the sealed concerts that I have. The Dangerous Tour. Bucharest. This one is live in Wembley. Yeah, 1988. Still sealed. I also have another live in Bucharest one. And then this is a DVD, another sealed one of The Wiz, which is the the Motown remake of The Wizard of Oz. And Michael Jackson played the Scarecrow. And guess who played Dorothy? Diana Ross. I have, and this is classic, a Betamax tape of the dangerous short films. If that isn't a collector's item, I don't know what is. And I also have the Betamax tape of Moonwalker, his first, this is actually the full length film of Michael. Yeah, it, he, he created amazing, amazing film segments here. It's, it's a dazzling rep representation of how he was as a musician. And he included here The Man in the Mirror, a multi-image live performance spectacle. He also included here the retrospective of 24 years of hits. And then there's Badder. It's actually a, a bad clip. Yung, uh, I mean, it's based on his song, Bad, but it was performed by young child performers. There's Speed Demon, the wild chase scene using claymation. Back in the day, Michael was always far-reaching because that the Academy, uh, sorry, the Academy Award-winning animation technique. Back in the day, it, it seemed that he was one of the, the pioneers of music video, you know, music videos. So you'll see here, if you, if you want to know more about Michael Jackson's amazing music videos, you have to check out Moonwalker. Yeah. And then he had Speed Demon and Leave Me Alone talks about the dissection of his life in the media and then smooth criminal which is the centerpiece of the entire film yeah this is actually this, this story uh, a nice story in which michael played a superhero and then he he used all po his powers against the evil mr big who pl was played by joe pesci and there's also a performance of the beatles classic come together here and of course, a performance of The Moon is Walking, which I want you to watch. It's, if you are a fan of Michael Jackson, of course, you, you have to revisit this, this Moonwalker film. I'll show you a few more albums before we end. This is my overplayed Michael Jackson number ones album, which I totally love. And You Are Not Alone, one of my favorite tracks, is actually there. And One More Chance, as well as a lot of his classics like Billie Jean, Rock With You, Don't Stop Till I Get Enough, Thriller. And then here, we'll see, the, of course, again, Thriller album, which I've played several times. It's the winner of eight uh, Cad uh, Grammy Awards. I didn't mean to say Academy. Grammy Awards. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then here, The Bad Album, another overplayed album for me because I love... I love the song, I Just Can't Stop Loving You. I loved it so much that I actually sang it in many of my gigs. And like I said, Christmas isn't Christmas without playing the Jackson album, Christmas album. This is classic because this actually features my cassettes of the History album, which my parents even purchased when they went abroad. Yep. That's a cassette tape right there. Look at this. This actually is a CD of yeah, Michael Jackson's Scream. It's a song he recorded with his sister Janet, who's also a great performer. And one of his songs called Childhood, which is beautiful. And then here, my overplayed Dangerous album. I love the songs here, especially Will You Be There and Keep the Faith. I love Who Is It, I love Heal the World, and this is the one that I wanted to show you. Tomorrow is my daddy's birthday and I actually sent my daddy, well I'm actually sending my daddy 
his uh, one of his favorite uh, uh, types of food. I wanted to share with you this because it's birthday tomorrow, and my dad actually got me this tour souvenir CD single set. It's a limited edition picture box set from Taiwan. He was on a business trip in Taiwan more than 20 years ago, more than 25 years ago, and he actually got this set for me. And his colleagues, um, after their business dealings, went to watch the concert, but my dad didn't watch the concert because I wasn't with him. Oh, isn't that the sweetest? And then here, this is what's inside in the souvenir CD set. Let me show you. This is where he performs Come Together, the classic Beatles hit. And then here, this is the dangerous, dangerous CD single set. This is the one representing his album Bad. This one has the songs from Billie Jean. And this one features the top songs from the Off The Wall album. And I want to show you the liner notes, totally unforgettable for me. There. I love the jacket here Michael's wearing. This was taken in the, well, taken from the music video Jam, which starred Michael with Michael Jordan, the basketball star. Look at that jacket. I want to find a copy of that jacket and wear it in one of my own music videos. <laughs> Look at that, Michael. So I wanted to share with you uh, a piece of who I am because I know that apart from the music, it's always interesting to discover a little bit more about a person, a person's likes, a, per a person's uh, collections. And I think that I revealed a lot about myself today because I showed you my simple collections. And these are collections of stuff by my famous artist uh, favorites. And Michael Jackson and BTS are similar in the way that they are very, very good performers. They are all passionate about songwriting. And they have beautiful, distinct voices that they use their advantage. And they're also great humanitarians. I think that what what uh, they have a lot in common is that they have passion, and they have they displayed the grit that really exemplifies what true artists are. That they never stop, you know, pursuing excellence in their craft. No wonder they are the biggest selling artists of all time. And BTS is continuously breaking records to this day. And even though Michael Jackson is no longer alive, his legacy of performance continues to captivate legions and legions of performers, influencing so many people up to this day who want to pursue music, who want to pursue the craft of songwriting and performance. So I thank you for spending time with me and I pray that I can also encourage you to support or original Filipino music. I am Ajeng and my first solo digital single, O Sigilang, is still out on YouTube Music, Spotify, and iTunes. And please, please, please watch out for my second digital single. It's entitled, If Only, and like and subscribe YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, Adjeng Buenaventura, for more information. And please, please comment on the comment box and let me know what type of collections you have and who are your favorite artists and who are your biggest musical influences. And I would love to hear from you. So just like and subscribe, Adjeng Buenaventura, and I pray that I'll be able to share more with you in the coming days. In the meantime, please keep safe and healthy. And I pray that all of you will continuously keep the faith even during these difficult times. Let music be a powerful and moving and inspirational force in your life as you continue to pray that everything will be alright.
God bless you. This is Ajeng. Take care. Bye.